Hey guys, this is Katie. Today we're going to be making a beach story. I am so excited because Code Spark just released a huge batch of beach related items. So I'm going to be making my best day ever at the beach. We have a lot of new items to play with. We have a beach ball, we have a beach chair, we have an ocean background and a sandy foreground. We have all of these items that you can play with. So I set up the scene with some of the new items so we can jump right into the code. Who should we pick for this story? I'm gonna grab Waz and Amelia. Now, when you first click on a character, you'll see that the first event that they have up is on tap. I want my characters to start at the beginning of the scene, so I'm gonna drag up the coding tray, press that plus button. Here, I'm going to select when started. This is an event instead of the default when tapped. When started. What this means is when the scene starts, Amelia is going to run this code. She's not going to wait for me to tap on her to run the code. She's going to run it immediately. So I'm going to code when start, drag in the jump on command, and then the game asks me where do I want to jump. I want Amelia to go and jump on the chair. We're going to do this with Waz again. I'm going to drag the coding tray up, press the plus button, tap play. When started. This creates a new event. I'm going to drag and drop in the jump on object command. It'll ask me what do you want to jump on, and I'm going to have him jump on the picnic blanket. So next up, I'm going to have him eat a watermelon. So I'm going to use the eat command. I'm going to drag and drop the eat command into the coding tray. And the game's going to ask me, what do I want this food to eat? And I'm going to tap on the watermelon. This means when this code runs, Waz is going to eat the watermelon. Om nom 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 nom. Om nom 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 nom. Yum, I love watermelons. So now I'm going to tap on the yellow wrench in the top right hand corner to go back to edit mode. I want to add a little bit something extra to this scene before I hand it off to you. I'm going to find a crab. So now I want the crab to walk into the scene after Waz is done eating the watermelon. So I'm going to tap on this button and then, and then, and then lets me change who's running the code. So I'm going to tap on this little hexagon. It's going to ask me, who do I want to run the next line of code? And I'm going to tap on the crab. This means that right after Waz is done, the crab's going to run his code. I'm going to code the crab to walk to a position. I'm going to drag and drop the walk to command. And the game's going to ask me, where do you want the crab to walk to? I'm going to tap on this position in the sand. You can see where he's going to walk by the little flag that showed up. That flag's not going to be in game, but it tells me where the crab's going to go. You can use the walk to command to tell a foo or an item where to go. Once he's done with that, he's going to dance. All right, let's hit the play button in the top right hand corner and see how this looks. They go to their spots. Waz eats the watermelon. Good job, Waz. And here's a crab out of nowhere. All right, guys, I finished working with this scene. We've had Waz go to the blanket, eat the watermelon, and then, then the crab goes to a position and dances. Then, How do you think Waz will react? If you've been following along, now it's your turn to decide how the story will end. You can set up your scene exactly like I have, or make some changes to it. Will he be scared? Will he laugh? Will he cry? Who knows? You get to decide. I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. Happy coding, and I'll see you next week. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe down below.